Joining us now is Neil deGrasse Tyson, American astrophysicist, a prominent author. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us here on CNN News 18 and speaking with us about uh, this incredible moment. Before we get into what this means for India and how important it is going to be for ISRO, I want to talk about Axiom 4. And you know that 14-day journey for this crew has just about begun. What would you look forward to from this particular mission, perhaps at the end of those two weeks? Well, each mission is loaded when when properly conceived is loaded with scientific experiments uh typically uh or more commonly these experiments involve some sort of uh, life sciences uh, either uh, trying to grow plants in various environments in the zero g the higher radiation environment uh trying to find can you grow fruit uh can you uh, look at behavior of insects the so there's an understanding that we gain by doing these experiments in zero g that would be impossible from earth's surface where we all experience and live in and evolved in 1g so i don't cherry pick which experiment i look forward to uh, instead i just i'm delighted that not only is there science being conducted but the, the four astronauts are from four different countries and so well, well yes of course we will focus on on, on, on <laughs> uh, you have a, a native son uh, from India yes. up there in orbit, but there's also uh, Poland and Hungary, and that they too are celebrating uh, their firsts to the space station. So I think it, it's just uh, yet another step towards uh, the international access to space, hmm. which we will all want and maybe need going into the future just for the security and safety of our species. You may not want to cherry pick on any particular experiment, but I do want to talk about one in particular. One of uh, the studies that Shubhanshu Shukla, in fact, is leading is about finding solutions to muscle dysfunction and microgravity. This is extremely important also because given what happened very recently with Sunita Williams, Barry Wilmore being stuck uh, in space for far longer than they expected. So is this study going to be super critical in that sense? Oh, yeah. And uh, and by the way, what we've found just doing science, if when you're on any frontier of science, usually the the researcher has a very targeted, specific intent with what they expect to find or or or, or what they will learn. But in almost every case, when a discovery or a result comes forth and is shared, there are people who are not you who are other people with a different background will say, wait a minute, that can apply in this other way. Oh, do you realize that that gives me help over? And then all of a sudden the research then spreads into other realms and it benefits all of humanity. So just, I'll give you a simple example. The, the docking mechanism that uh, was developed for the space shuttle to dock with the space station, that had certain laser guides that centered uh, precisely. It used to be done manually, and it was very clumsy and clunky. Uh, laser guided to center and then perform the docking. The that system was adapted for LASIK surgery that allowed the surgical cuts to happen even if your eye moved during the surgery, greatly minimizing the risk of of, of error and greatly reducing the cost of that operation. And the point is that they didn't, they didn't design this system of docking with LASIK surgery in mind. <laughs> they weren't even thinking about it. But when, when uh, research is conducted and then shared, um, everyone benefits. And the, the Artemis Accord, which India signed maybe a year and a half ago, uh, after uh, your prime minister came through New York, when I had the privilege of meeting him, and then he went on to Washington, signed the Artemis Accord, which is an agreement of spacefaring nations, those that are already spacefaring and those that are aspiring to be, that will uh, describe the conduct of everyone in space. That'll be used for peaceful purposes. Anything you discover gets shared with others so that their space mission could benefit from what you have found. And so it's a, it's a recipe for the future we all expect and want for humanity to become spacefaring. And, and, and India is, is 
especially with Israel, not only just your astronaut today, but the future plan, the near future plans to develop an all Indian uh, technology from the ground up uh, with, with, the, with the rockets and the docking and the moon landings and the astronauts. Um, that's uh, that welcome to that's <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm uh, happy and, and proud that that there's more of this going on in the world. Absolutely. But and speaking of those, uh, you know, future uh, missions, the one that particularly is being looked at is Gaganyan, which is going to be India's first manned mission. Shubhanshu Shukla's role in Axiom 4, the fact that he was uh, critical as far as the docking procedure went. He was the one who piloted that entire procedure. How important do you think he is going to be, his insights or his first-hand experience is going to be when India looks to put uh, first man in space with Gaganyan in perhaps two years from now? Yes. So that's the sum of all experience by all astronauts who've been in space. They each have a slightly different story to tell. All right. And, and th there are other stories like he th this mission was delayed. OK, well, there's the anxiety from that. There's the fear a little bit, but they're they're good. You know, they're astronauts. You know, they're the right stuff. And so they, they can handle the fear and the risk. They, they're fully recognize the risk of going into space because things can go wrong and especially I will appeal to uh, Indians in this that as Israel continues to develop the the technologies to accomplish its goals there will be accidents there will be trauma that's 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 how you know you're on the frontier of discovery and that it wouldn't just have to be scientific discovery, but engineering discovery. If you try to do something that no one has done before, it's not always going to work the first time out. Hmm. So people, if they see a failure, they need to say, okay, that's evidence that we are testing new frontiers. And let us redouble the effort to, so that we don't have that same failure again. But uh, we, we keep working towards the goals that were stated, ultimately landing uh, astronauts on the moon. And speaking of those goals, there are several ambitious projects that India is looking at. Uh, so I want to ask you a question that has several layers to it. Uh, India is setting its sights on building its own space station by 2035, which is in a decade from now. Uh, one thing I want to ask you is, do you think that's viable? That's something that, uh, despite uh, the strides that ISRO has made, that's something that can be done in the next one decade? And if yes, then how do you think this particular mission, Axiom 4, will give a boost to that vision? Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. The space station was conceived in the night, the International Space Station was conceived in the 1980s and, and funded and then built through the 1990s. And it continued to sort of accrete uh, modules because it's assembled uh, by what was brought up in the payload of the space shuttle. And I, I say all of that because the 1990s was 30 years ago. I guarantee you there is no technology at home that you have this 30 years old. <laughs> okay, so, so uh, any next generation space station or space habitat is going to have the benefit of so much of what we've discovered and learned and the miniaturization and AI and all of the trappings of modern tech science culture. So what will be fun and interesting to see is what's different about what might be different about the Indian Space Station and how what I would hope is that you get to invite other astronauts from other countries onto it because that's always fun. And oh, by the way, on the International Space Station, I don't know how many people know this, each country brings their own food or rather their own cuisine. Yes. And so it's fun when astronauts trade food uh, it's part of the the diplomacy that being in space with uh, an international crew uh, brings so if india pioneers this new and next generation of uh, space station it'd be fun to see other countries participate by invitation uh, of the of israel and that would be a fun experience uh, for those who have been watching this uh, down from here from Earth as well. But speaking of that collaboration, you know, when we talk about space exploration, it's always been spoken of up until now as a space race. Do you think there should be a more collaborative effort that, of course, steps are being taken uh, in, uh, 
in accordance to that in that direction as well. There are several of these accords, the one that you mentioned between India and the United States that has been signed as well. But do you think that there should be more collaboration, not just between countries, but also between governments and private players? Yeah, let me let me recast that a little differently. Okay, sure. so uh, yes, the United States and the Soviet Union were engaged in a space race. Yes, that is real. I don't want to sweep that under the rug and pretend that was not the state of affairs. Hmm. Uh, but if a trend in the future is that private enterprise will participate more and more, then it's no longer so much one country competing with another country, it's businesses. By the way, any successful business is always in competition with other businesses. We don't question that because that's how that works, right? So the, to the extent to which private enterprise participates, they want the next contract. They want the, though the other company has a more collaborative thing. And so there's this ascent to uh, ever cheaper, ever more efficient, ever cleverer solutions to problems. In a way, that's competition. And so I, I don't have a problem with that. We, uh, we perform better. I mean, like it or not, we perform better under competition. That's just how it is. And what you'd hope is that the competition doesn't become sort of nationalistic because in the limits, that's just, that's just war, right? We, we've seen that. So you want the competition to be friendly, and, but then at some point you want to share the share what you've discovered this is the the fundamentals of the a, a big part of the fundamentals of the artemis accord that new results new findings that are discovered in space are shared with other countries so that they can participate in this adventure right network 18 is now the clear leader in digital media with 55 percent more users on native platforms and social media than times internet network 18 the undisputed leader of news networks way ahead of the times